Hey everyone, it's Sherry, and I wanted to share with you how I made my Effie Trinket butterfly hat for my costume this year for Halloween. I knew I had to make the hat, and so I started looking through YouTube about the um, little caps that, you know, women used to wear with the tool netting and stuff, because I knew that was going to kind of be my base. So I found this channel on YouTube. Um, I think it's called Made by Marzipan. I'll link it down below. And she had a video of how to make fascinator hats. So after watching her video, um, I decided to use her method and I just bought some felt, some interfacing, and some pipe cleaners from Michaels. It was less than five dollars for all those things. And here I am um, gluing the interface to the piece of felt and then I am going to just draw the circles um, just using some random things from my room. I also am making a hat for my mom's costume, um, but for this video I'm just going to focus in on my Effie hat, but you do see there's a larger circle there that I cut out from my mom's hat. But anyways, I cut a small circle. I would say it's probably about maybe four inches across. And after gluing the interface on and cutting out your shape, um, I went ahead and glued on the pipe cleaners, and the pipe cleaners are for being able to mold the little cap to your head so it's not completely like straight and just kind of sticking out off of your head. And the more like pipe cleaners you put on there, the more it has a flexibility to mold and curve to your head. So originally I wasn't going to use that piece of styrofoam for my project, but it ended up working out that way. Um, but I'll get to that in a minute. Here I am just kind of gluing some more pipe cleaners to the inside, like I said, to just help with the molding of it to my head. And this piece of styrofoam is from an actual circle uh, from Hobby Lobby that I had cut in half and painted black. I just hot glued it to the piece of felt because I needed something to stick these butterflies in. And I got these butterflies from Amazon. I'll link it down below, but they come already on wire. So I just took my wire cutters and started clipping the butterflies in different lengths, because if you're familiar with the Hunger Games, obviously you are, if you're watching this video. Um, all the butterflies are all different lengths on her hat, so I wanted to make sure I kind of kept with that. And I stuck a couple of them in there just to make sure they would stay and then I started gluing them. Uh, the butterfly on the base actually just kind of popped off its stem but I'm glad that it did because the one on the base helps to cover up that little half dome black circle thing on the hat. And then I was just trying to pick like the prettiest butterflies to put on here and just making sure that they're all different heights so they don't cover each other up and I didn't really count how many butterflies were on her hat I just kind of stuck them until I was happy with the way that it all looked which I think ended up being like six butterflies the pack comes with 12 or maybe it was seven butterflies I used I think so yeah and the pack came with 12 and these stuck in so nicely so I really like the way that turned out. I thought about putting some flat back pearl strands around the hat, but then I was like, no, it looks good just like that. I don't remember her hat in the movie having any sort of embellishment around it, so I decided against it. And then when I turned the hat around, I noticed there was like glue glops from sticking the metal stems into the foam circle. So I took an MFT um, bow die cut and some black other black felt for my stash and I just used my Cuddlebug die cut machine and cut out these pieces of felt that you make into a bow and then I just glued the bow on the back so that when somebody's standing behind me or like my husband above me and looking down <laughs> they're not going to be able to see all those glue things and there's kind of a close-up right there so you're not really going to be able to see that, but it was just something that I kind of wanted the product to look finished from all angles. 
and then I took some clips that I got from Michaels. I think these were $2.99. I ended up gluing them on upside down, so you don't want to do that, but it'll still, they still clip and work the exact same way. I was just trying to hide them so that when it's in my hair, you won't be able to see the clips. I'm actually going to be wearing a blonde wig, so they'll be clipped in the wig, but it's still... You still won't be able to see it. But anyways, this was the finished product. It didn't take me very long to make this. It was probably under $20 to make. And I hope you enjoy. There's a couple pictures at the end of the finished product. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it.